Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in to the 726 Show right here in Harrison, Arkansas. This is where you need to be for the next maybe an hour. Maybe. If we could stretch it you out that long. stretch it out that long. No, no, no. <laughs> this one might be one of those stretchy kind of things. But, you know, I like these shows where we just have a small group of people on the show because we can get more in-depth, more detailed, more up close we and pry. personal. We pry. what you're trying to say? We pry? I like to pry. I know you like As to long pry. as the questions aren't directed at me, I'm good. <laughs> they might be directed at you. No, no. I'll, uh, I'll clam up. So if you miss, I'll, I'll do one of these in the camera. You know, Dan and or, I playing together. It's too bad. What'd you miss? It was fun. I said if they missed our play together, it was too bad. Because we're we the ones. That, we're the ones that had all the fun. We had fun. So there you go. And you're talking about last round up of the Guacamole Queens was closed out Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was a good. It was a good run. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, I no, think I think by Sunday I felt comfortable with my lines. By Sunday, I didn't really care anymore. <laughs> That's not true, but I was like very at mm -hmm. ease. So. W w were there any disasters when you were not up on stage? Not at all. Not I, I, you know, there were some bobbles, but no, nothing disastrous whatsoever. Oh, really? Not for me. You know, my main, my main concern was being up there doing a monologue, and there's no one to help you out with your lines if you get mm -hmm. discombobulated. Mm -hmm. You'd and just be like... And you had no... And I didn't have that. No monkey wrenches in the mix? Well, you're a monkey wrench. <laughs> you're always a monkey wrench. But there was a, there was a little interaction uh -huh. from yeah. one of our people that yeah. kind of threw some of us off a little, but not bad. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, we had a good time. And for those that came out, we want to thank you for supporting Definitely. the Ozark Arts Council. Um, the, uh, the play did well, mm -hmm. and... The proceeds went over and above what was uh, for the expenses, and That's I think that, like. uh, and we could get more information from Eric. He will be here. Eric Stefanski will be here a little bit later on in the show. He's going to fill us in on all the upcoming events. Yes, and um, and I think some of that money was much needed for, or maybe put to some of the things that are needed there. At the, well, you know, when you when you talk about an old building, which I have one. I, I'm I'm this building was built in 1915. And the Lyric was built, is it 1927? 29. 29, built in 1929. And uh, There's always something. There's a lot of things that go on with old buildings. Right. Um, of course, you know, the, the building I'm in is structurally sound, and I'm sure the, the, uh, the, uh, the Lyric down there is sound too, but there's things that go out like air conditioning units and, you know, various and sundry other things that right. can happen. So kind of like your body, when it wears out, something's going on. Yeah. Yep. So. yep, 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 yep. Speaking of, yes, I'm doing well with my little personal training. I'm awfully excited. Oh, okay. It's like, I can't wait to actually see Now, are you results. still with results. Mr. Uh, with, yeah. You want to say who it is? Or? Roy Keel. Roy I, Keel? Yeah. I had Roy Keel as you a did. personal trainer You did. I know. I was quite impressed. Yeah, he's, uh, he's very good. If anybody's considering a personal trainer, I highly recommend him. Uh, especially for an old guy like me, he will consider all that. And I he, think, his, his goal is to not make you hurt so that you don't want to come back, but not to hurt your body. Yeah. But to get the best results possible. But there, so. there are results. I mean, you'll see results. Well, uh, I'm waiting to see Roy. him. I'm only like two weeks in. so no, You won't see him for a while. Now, the thing that Roy did to me, he's, he, he purposely kept me away from the, when you go into a gym, there's, there's a lot of mirrors, and there's a lot of machines facing the mirrors, so you can, you know, see yourself all work, you know, buff. And he purposely kept me away. He says, I want to show you what can happen. And I think around the three-month mark, when I was working with him, he said, okay, now we're going to work on these. I go, oh, I'm in front of the mirror. And when I started working out, I was like, whoa. See. Yeah, I could tell the difference. See, we, he did not do that with me, but whatever. You know, well, different. I think for, for a guy, a guy wants to see the results. Oh, he wants yeah. to see that. For a, for a woman, you don't want to. I just have Popeye it, yeah. arms, you know. No, you know, not at all. Yeah. What else is new? What I keep interrupting new? you. <clears throat> um, Nothing. Not that anyone would be interested in. No. Okay. No, I don't have right. a. I don't have an exciting, flamboyant life, style. Okay. So. All right. But unlike you. 
I don't have a flamboyant lifestyle. But, really. but thanks for inviting me over to your house. Of course, I couldn't come unless uh, everyone else was Let there. Let me just a, say, he says that all the time. And I've invited him for Thanksgiving more than once. I couldn't, couldn't make it that one uh, time. And? But you talk like I don't even offer that to you, which is well, incorrect. I do think of you. I'm not going to think of you anymore because you're... No, I'm just kidding. Because I'm a jerk? Because you're a jerk That's what you're going to say. I started to say, but <laughs> it was nice. I had the cast party at my house, so it was very fun, and we had a good time, and a nice group of people, and, yeah, and, and lots Kelly, of good food, and Kelly your girlfriend came, was there. Kelly was with me, and I, I told her, I said, would you like a tour of the place? You didn't take her a <laughs> tour of my place. You no, could but have, I, I don't care. <laughs> she said, no. She said, Ann would kill you. I said, nah, she won't. Let's go. Let's take a tour. We didn't, but I, know. I thought it was quite funny. You're such a dork. <laughs> anyway, let's just go on with uh, maybe we've talked that Sterk's, Eric, Sterk, Eric Stefanski will be No, here. let's call him Derek the rest of the show. I call That's him fine. Sterk. Whatever. Shh. Can you be quiet? <laughs> no. Fred Wool is here. Fred needs no inter inter introduction. He is a, he's been on periodically and always has some exciting news to share with us, so... Looking, we're glad he's on the show. And then we now, also he have, lives an exciting lifestyle. He does. He's like on the go all the time. And it's mm -hmm. awesome. We also have Wanda Massengale representing the Ozark Humane Society. And she is here with Carter, a cute little pup that she's going to feature. So He's a pretty dog. He is pretty. We will go to break. And when we return, I, Fred will be I don't know who we're going to put. Yeah. Fred? We'll, okay. yeah, Fred Fred's will up be next. with us. Yeah. Stay with us.